Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the core problem of Magic the Gathering. It might have to do with value and the distribution of value. So we're looking at Hour of Devastation, and we have one card over $10. Then we have three cards over $5, all of them being mythics. One of them being a mythic in the intro deck. And then nada. I mean, yes, you have two rares over $3, which I, I guess is good. But everything else is mythic. So we're looking at Hour of Devastation, which is quite possibly the worst financial set in the history of Magic. Now, I will put a asterisk in front of that and define what I believe a bad set is. Now, number one, it has a high-end mythic, like Dragon Maze. You have your Voice of Resurgence at 40, and then just absolute garbage the rest of the way. So you hit Scarab God, or you hit nothing. Unfortunately, Scarab God is a mythic. And this math would look a lot different if it was a rare, and you actually had the chance of getting one in a box. But as a mythic, you're not likely to see the Scarab God. And even if you see the Scarab God and it's not foil, how are you going to make back $100 a box? I know some people are telling you our devastation is a good investment or it's a very strong set and everything is good, but the prices don't lie. You know, people can lie to you all day long, but what is the card actually worth? I tell my employees this a lot. People can say nice stuff to you. They can say that, oh, I really enjoy your work. But unless they pay you, they don't value you. So money, as crass as it's going to sound, is a very good indicator of if a set is good or not, just like if your artwork is good or not. If your artwork is good, you need to charge money. If you're still learning, you're volunteering, then it's fine. Whatever, you're learning. But the worst client, and I, I deal with these clients all the time, is a client that wants you to work for free. Uh, we had a dating website and I would just I have no intention of working with them, so I will say the outcome. They we did a lot of spec work, which means you work for them for free for a little bit of time. Uh, we did about a week of spec work. Sophie did some script writing and you know so social media. Norman got involved with the website a little bit. And then I said, Okay, so can you give us your credit card so we can charge you at the end of the month? And they said, Nope, I don't think that's best practice. But it's the same thing every other agency would ask them. They literally said that if they went to a different agency, the other agency they were going to choose, they would have to pay $5,000 retainer, mean, meaning they paid the $5,000 up front before any work is done. And then they treat us like, okay, cool, because you're smaller than that agency. I don't even know if we're smaller than that agency because I guess you're kinder. We're going to take advantage of you. That's the same with MTG Finance. You are, war you, are what you are worth what someone's willing to pay you. So if the Scarab God was worth $20, he would be $20. If he's worth $43, he's $43. And that includes the rest of the set. Even Nicol Boles, which is $10, I think that's relatively cheap for a... Uh, let's be honest, he is the main villain. He is the big baddie. I, I don't know what happened to him. Uh, we need to talk to him about him in more detail later in this video, but something went incredibly wrong where your biggest villain is under $10 and there's nothing even above him. So Scarab God, Nicol Bolas, and that's it. They're both mythics. Even if you pulled both, and assuming, let's discount foils for now because that's even harder. I mean, you're pulling like foil expeditions at that point. Um, even if you discount both of them, even if you got both, you're still only $53 retail, which is probably $25 buy list. You paid $100 for that box. What are you hoping to pull the rest of the way to make up that value when every other card is below $5? And that's, that's the truth. I feel like a lot of people are pushing you guys to buy this product, to open packs. At the end of the day, it's a game. It's a card game. It's a very fun game. I think Magic is still my favorite game 
of all time. It's my favorite card game of all time. And it's a wonderful game. Expecting to make money from a game or expecting to break even on a box opening is very foolish. And people telling you to invest in boxes, especially recent boxes, you know what's going to happen? They're going to reprint Scarab God in like a Modern Masters 2019. How do I know with certainty that this is the future of this set? Well, look at Magic Origins. People were saying buy Magic Origins. It's the last core set. It's going to be great value. You can buy Magic Origins Fat Packs and David Adams for under $20 all day long. That's not including coupons, of course. It's free shipping and free stuff. You can buy boxes of Magic Origins for under 80 all day long. In the next two years, you can still pop. They probably will go down in price like RTR did. Yet yeah, people are saying buy it. And also, it's not the last core set, by the way. So, sorry for telling you guys that, but guess what? Corset is back. So, I look at it and I say to myself, huh. Magic is a hobby. Buy the cards you need. If you need Scarab God, buy the four Scarab Gods. I don't know anyone who is not drafting this set who should be opening this set. I don't know anyone who should be taking prize support as this set. The expected value is so poor. Yes, now I do know there's invocations and all that stuff, but it's like a lottery, right? Yes, some people hit it, but the majority of people just put their monies on fire. I mean, yes. I mean, look at Nicol Bolas. This is the big baddie that started at $30. It's insane that he's $10 now. Like, it's so sick, right? You could get a Scarab God and a foil Nicol Bolas and still not make it. Retail, retail price, not buy list. Re you could get two foil nickel bolises and a scarab god, and you just hit the hundred dollar box mark retail. Assuming everything else you got was like really bad and couldn't be bought, like buy listed. And even then, you would have to find the right buyer to make back your money, and that's insane. Think about th you got to hit two nickel bolis foils and a scarab god in your box, <laughs> and that's it. I, any other thing is going to offset the math as i've looked at it like actually you know i'm taking the finance part a lot more seriously and that's why the viewerships have gone down it's because it's no longer the templated format that i could make which is oh look at the card that went up oh look at this look at that um no i'm talking about serious stuff because i'm actually doing research which i don't typically do. i have not done in my channel for a long time ever since i decided to buy a store I actually know a lot more about the margins and mechanics. And I know a lot of people online are going to say, oh, I'm super smart. I have a degree from MIT. You don't know what you're doing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I have sold a business for a lot of money in the past. Yeah, totally sold. Totally divested. And I have created many businesses. I mean, people ask, well, why do I have so many businesses? Why do I have Big Gale Photography? Because it will be profitable. And I have investors who will put money into it why do i have a marketing company why do i have two marketing companies why do i have this why do i have it's fun it's just a fun and games to me right like do you know that i have fielded a phone call from it is 11 p.m and i have been on the phone with clients the entire time yes they called me at nighttime for advice and yes i have workers sophie works until 7 uh jessica works from 8 p.m until 3 a.m Laura is going to mimic Jessica because they need to be a team. Well, Laura and Sophie need to be a team. And then once Sophie trains Laura, then her hours are more akin to Jessica's hours. Norman has really good hours. He has crazy hours. He works only weekends, lasts like night times. So everything is crazy and everything we do is insane. And it's a lot of fun. And I'm putting a lot of effort into understanding the actual finances of this. And it's bad. The deeper I look, I am going to ask a few of the store owners I talk to who want to sell me their inventory if I can record our conversation or maybe have a Skype. It is so intriguing what they suffer daily. It is like their life being drained from them because they don't they don't have a profitable they are working for their they're working for people who don't respect them 
which is their customers. Their customers will always buy online cheaper. They have very lo- little brand loyalty. They will all, even if they buy from you, they will always make a snide comment of, oh, I'm doing to support you because I could get online cheaper, although they've used the store for eight hours with electricity, air conditioning, and tables. And at least one of my stores I go to has TV. Uh, I'll talk a bit more about one particular store and how why it doesn't do magic anymore. So not some stores have realized that to survive, they have to drop magic completely. And they have done that. And not just my friend's store, but this other large store I've gone to for five years, they drop magic. Or I guess people are saying magic dropped them, but... I'm hearing that, no, actually it was a store owner's decision not to do magic anymore because it was bleeding money. And I love magic, and I think there's ways to make money from magic, but definitely isn't buying our devastation boxes or pre-release kits or whatever, fat packs, whatever you're buying from this set. This set is worse than Dragon Maze, and Dragon Maze has come down as one of the worst sets ever. You just don't know it yet because the Scarab God hasn't been reprinted yet. Once they reprint Voice of Resurgence, Look at Dragon Maze. It is absolute crap right now. You don't think they're going to reprint Scarab God? They probably will reprint Scarab God and Nico Bolas. The $10 Nico Bolas. Not that he needs a reprint, but... And then what else is in the set? I mean, there's nothing else in the set. It's insane. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.